what's going on guys welcome to dreams and in this tutorial I want to be showing you guys how you can create this uh, small application where you're going to be able to type anything that you want and press these buttons and it's going to save it to a a notepad um, sorry to a text file and then you're going to be able to open um, the file uh, using this button okay and this is going to launch a notepad for you and as you can see I've got the full time and the full date included as well okay so let's start coding this because it's gonna be fun so make sure that you create a project then uh, create uh, a class and name it main window so this is where we're gonna um, this is where we're gonna code uh, the J the J frame and all the widgets and all that so I'm going to say extends 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 j frame okay so we're gonna be extending this class um, the j frame and we can import uh, the j frame from the library and I'm gonna change that to a star so he's gonna um, he's going to import everything okay so now I'm gonna create uh, my my widget so I need uh, one text area or let me say my component so I need a j text area I'm gonna call it TA then I need two buttons so I want to say J button B1 um, B1 and B2 okay and then I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, two uh, not two but three uh, panels okay so I'm going to say J panel I'm going to say main panel because I always have a main panel then I'm gonna say panel uh, one and panel two okay so the idea over here is to uh, put uh, these um, this text area inside of the panel one then these two buttons inside of the panel two and then put the panel these panels inside of the main panel okay so now let me um, create a default constructor so to set my title, I'm going to say super, okay, and then just say mini app, okay. Obviously, you could have said this dot set title, but this uh, calls the um, the constructor of the super class, which is uh, the J frame, okay. So then I'm going to say this dot set size, okay, set size, and I'm going to say 500 by 270. Then I'm going to say this dot um, set location uh, location relative to null. Okay, so this will center your frame whenever you launch it up. Then I'm going to say this dot set default close operation j frame dot exit exit on close. Okay, and this will make sure that the application closes whenever you uh, hit the, the the X button. Okay. And finally, I'm going to say this dot set resizable, set resizable to false because I don't want anyone to mess up with my with my frame. Okay, so now I'm going to instantiate the the panel. So I'm going to say main panel. I'm going to say equals to new J panel. Okay, uh, just like that. Then I'm going to say new. So I'm going to specify a layout. So I'm going to say new border layout okay usually i never use uh, this layout but for this for this tutorial this is going to be enough because we only have few components all right so i'm going to press uh, control space to import everything and once again i'm, I'm going to import every everything okay so let me just hide that so now i'm going to say panel uh, one equals to new j panel and let's say new flow layout because i'm specifying a layout for the panel so i'm going to say flow layout dot and i want everything in the middle so i'm going to say center and then i want 10 pixels uh, padding verti vertically and horizontally okay then i'm going to copy this because it's going to be similar so i'm going to change this to panel two and then over here i want the buttons 
uh, to the left okay so now i'm going to create the but the, the text area sorry i'm going to say ta equals to new j text area okay and then i'm going to say 10 pixels 10, 10 pixels height and the width will be 40 okay uh, I don't know if this is pixels or not, but um, you can just experiment and see what kind of dimensions do, do you do you, do you get using the, the parameters that you want. Okay, so I'm going to say ta dot um, set line line wrap to true. Okay, so line wrap to true and ta dot set word uh, uh, wrap style. Uh, not yeah set wrap style word to true okay so basically um, these two lines of code say that whenever you reach uh, to the end of the line and uh, make sure that you do not break any words just keep keep them uh, together and skip to the next line okay so then i'm going to add a scroll bar to my text uh, area so i'm going to say j scroll scroll pane I'm gonna call it pane equals to new j scroll pane okay and then I'm gonna put the ta the text area inside of it just like that uh, control shift o to import everything that I need then I'm going to instantiate the button so b1 equals to new j button j button and I'm going to say save just like that then b2 equals to new j button and open file with notepad okay just like that and now i need to add the text area and the buttons to their corresponding panels so i'm going to say panel one panel one dot add and sometimes you might think that you need to add the text area and usually this is wrong because as you can see i've added the text area into the pane okay the scroll bar and therefore i need to add the pane instead of the scroll the, the text area okay then i'm going to say panel 2 dot add uh, b1 okay and panel uh, two dot add b2 simple as that then i'm gonna add the panels to the main panel okay so i'm gonna say main panel uh, dot add panel one panel one just like that and main panel dot add uh, panel two okay and finally i'm gonna say this dot set visible to true cut as a lowercase to true and i'm going to say ta dot ta dot um request request focus okay so you're gonna have a focus uh whenever you you launch your frame okay so now if i run this code so just let me show you what's going on so if i run this code actually i need to go to my main class make sure that you create a main class and create a variable of type main window and call it window equals to new main window okay just like that and now if i run this as you can see uh, the frame is empty okay and the reason why is because we need to add the the main panel to the frame okay so i'm going to say this dot add and i'm going to say main panel so now if i run this as you can see i've got the buttons and the text area is not visible and the reason why is because i'm using uh, the border layout inside my my main panel and the border layout says that whenever you add any component to it you must specify the location okay so we haven't done that so we're gonna do it now so i'm gonna say border layout dot and i want this uh in the center 
and I'm gonna copy this because it's gonna be not copy. I'm gonna I'm gonna say border layout dot south. So I want uh, the panel which contains the button the buttons to go to the bottom. Okay. So now if I launch the program, you'll see that everything uh, works fine. Okay. So that's it for this tutorial, and we're gonna carry on on the next tutorials. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.